Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we're going to go through the Turtles of Grayskull Raphael. So second one that I have opened of the Turtles. Already done Leo in the previous one if you've caught that one. So again, these little blister packaging we've all seen with the other ones. Um, you got He-Man and Leo at the top there on the back. It's got the little card art. He is there. Let's see if I can get this. So on the back he's got the card art there. He's got a slaker, slacker, whichever you want to call him. And in the back there it's got Skeletor and Shredder there as well. And then the other figures that have come out in the wave. I am glad that this helmet actually pops off Raph. I know with a uh, Donatello which I'm still yet to do a review that one's not removable which I am a bit gutted but we'll get to that in a future video so let's crack this guy open and have a little closer look getting them out of the box he comes with his little mini comic so there's not uh, a title for this one um, obviously it's like the EU type of release so there's no actual speech bubbles in the comic itself so just knowing what the story is some of you like this without the speech bubbles actually like the comic as the um, the story going through it but let me know what this one's actually called and the gist of it for us as well so going back to the figure getting him out of the box I love this actual uh, colour green on him compared to Leo just bringing him back in you can see the actual difference the colour difference on him really love this colour green well so like I say this mask or helmet actually pops off so you've got on the top there the little skull detail so it's going off the actual Ram Man helmet isn't it so it's a little bit flexible as well his armour so he's got the shell with the little pop off and that'll be the actual shield as well but it's so striking with the red the primary red colours and the green that is well nice so articulation wise it's the same with every origin and I will just bring in a little let's see so and it's got all the usual pop offs so the head the helmet as well obviously this time round um, the arms will pop off hands waist and also his little boots or his feet this little bandana will twist right round so you can put it in different poses whichever the way the wind is moving and then the armour side of things let's have a little look of them with the armour off so for just pop obviously his little waistband pops off as well um, how's this so his, his head will have to come off just slide, yep, yeah, just slide straight off. So even with this, I mean, his body does look a bit weird. He has got that um, shell, but just all in the one flat green. I wish they had to paint it this. These, the different colours. But articulation wise it's all the same head bobble up and down 360 on the arms elbow joint the hands as well has got a pivot round the waist legs go back and forth splay out bent at the knee and also the pivot joint on the foot as well he comes with I suppose three accessories one being the shield one being this weapon can't think of the actual sword weapon it's called 
but it can slot straight into the back of the actual shell. And then he's got this thing that just slots over his hand. So let's, in fact, let's get them all back together with all his outfit. So if you put his little sword in this hand, see how it holds. That is pretty sturdy in that one. And then, like I say, this has just got like a little bung that goes over this other hand. I mean, look at that, and that is proper funky, that. So he's proper decked out as well with those weapon accessories. But let me know your thoughts on Wrath. Um, what do you think of this line? Have you gone down this route yet? Drop us those comments in the box. While you're there dropping those comments, do the usual with a like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next with Donatello.